Released in 1990, The Amazing Spider-Man was the fourth game featuring Spidey himself. Although described as an action puzzle platformer, the game underplays combat in favor of strong focus on puzzle elements. Developed by Oxford Digital Enterprises and published by Paragon Software, the game was first released on the Amiga platform and later ported to PC MS-DOS and the Commodore 64. The PC version supports up to 16 colors and also what appears to sound like ad-lib MIDI music. After coming home from a crazy night out with the girls, an unexpected knock comes at MJ's door. Suddenly, Mysterio comes crashing through the door with a resounding kablam! Later that evening, Spider-Man finally shows up wearing the most dreadful green shirt and realizes that MJ was kidnapped. His only clue? A tiny... uh... clapboard... thing. On it, the name of the studio where Mysterio was holding MJ. Spider-Man has no choice but to go to Rockwell Studios and save Mary Jane. For a platformer, the amazing Spider-Man plays a little stiff. Considering he is one of the more agile and nimble superheroes, you are given a rather slow walking speed with no option to run whatsoever. You quickly get the feeling that this game is more about puzzles than it is action. But things aren't all that bad. To navigate these puzzles, Spider-Man has a few tricks up his sleeve, such as web swinging and clinging to walls and ceilings. It's kind of funny to see the way he strolls when walking upside down. Look at him go! Although I was super impressed with the web swinging as a wee lad, revisiting it today makes me realize how awkward it can be to perform seemingly simple feats. Momentarily raging aside, it still remains a cool mechanic that you might find yourself enjoying more so than the game itself. Sporting a respectable VGA 16 color palette, the graphics are nothing to brag about. To give it some credit, if you look at the two earliest titles, it definitely made significant advances over its ancestors, and arguably better detail than the Game Boy release of the same year. Most of the things on screen are easily discernible, while some assets will just mystify you forever. Seriously, what is that even supposed to be? Any guesses? Anyone? The levels go from what appears to be a studio, a graveyard, and to other very weird places. The animations are basic to very crude. Spider-Man's walking animation is fine, but when you look at the jumping animation, it's slightly rigid. The animations for the robot and enemies are pretty basic, while the mummies have an interesting spring in their step. While you are navigating Rockwell Studios, you will be doing so at the tune of some upbeat MIDI jazz that seemingly is not based on the original theme at all. From my short experience with the game, there is only one song that plays over and over and over. If you feel like playing a slow-paced, slightly awkward Spider-Man themed puzzle game, then you may have a winner on your hands. From the handful of reviews and comments I've read, those that do enjoy puzzles manage to squeeze a decent bit of enjoyment from this title. If you would like to play The Amazing Spider-Man for free, make sure to check the links in the description below. Maybe you are just the right type of Spidey fan to enjoy it. I am the Medieval Nerd, thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, rate, or comment. You have all been amazing, and see you next time!